Hello and welcome once again to a special edition of We Move with Super Eagles, proudly brought to you by MTN, the official communications partners of Nigeria's national teams and most especially the team that we will be supporting from January the 9th, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. My name is Tolu Shutari. On the show today, we will be commiserating, if we can call it, that the players who have been dropped from the Super Eagles squad, especially as that provisional list was made uh, public. To discuss that, the guys are here, as always. Let me start with you, Bada Akinsunde Johnson. He must feel bad to be on the fringes at the, of the team and then get dropped for a major tournament like the African Fest. Oh, it's totally heartbreaking. Um, the players must be gutted. Every one of them fancying their chances of making the final list and representing Nigeria at the tournament. And all of a sudden, they're not even given a chance to come fight for the shirt. Uh, that tells you that maybe the coach doesn't, doesn't even rate you at all uh, mm. to have counted or to have left you out of the provisional list. Uh, that can do some damage to confidence, but they'll be booking their holiday spots and um, yeah, be relaxing on the beaches and um, telling themselves there's more to life than the African tournament. <laughs> <laughs> for us, there's nothing more to life than an African tournament. We will be rooting for the Super Eagles. Oh, Sereme, Inebenebo joins us. I'm not asking you. I really don't care whether it's a, it's a game or a quiz. Nah, I'm done. <laughs> but as far as getting dropped, mm. um, we know some of the Super Eagles players that are your friends that you like very much. Some of them didn't get on the list. How do you think they're feeling? Very sad, obviously. Very, very sad. But this is football. Not everybody can make it. Some people get dropped. And unfortunately, some of my friends got dropped. But we move. A particular one. <laughs> if it's right. any consolation, we're not dropping you from the show. Nah, you're here. <laughs> Don't worry. All right. So we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll delve into the players who have missed out on the party to the African fiesta. Stick around. MTN, official communication partners of the Super Eagles and other national football teams are poised to follow the Super Eagles wherever they go in the special bumper countdown to Africa's greatest football fiesta. The Eagle Eye segment is a fly on the wall in the team camp as we bring exclusive and entertaining behind the scenes activities of the teams while talking tough curates, informative and captivating one-on-one -on -one chats with the players and coaching staff head-to-head -head pit Super Eagle stars against each other as we review their stats and various forms while team focus segment highlights other African teams and how they are prepping for the tournament ahead. Beneath their wings, we move. The human interest hub of the show projects the MTN We Move spirit as we capture motivational grass to gray stories of Super Eagles top stars. While Star Players to Watch brings to the fore the key players in all the African teams to keep an eye out for. Blast from the past takes you down memory lane to Super Eagles' glorious moment in the summit of continental football history. While Game On rewards our team in followers and active social media base with exciting rewards from MTN as we move to the epic celebration of African soccer. Of course, the lighter note segment ignites a side attraction of an unequal blaze of value-added entertainment with heartwarming comedy and music, a unique collab of soccer and fun. Join us as we move with the Super Eagles to higher heights of continental glory. For more details, follow us on at MTNNG, at MTN Nigeria, on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Welcome, MTN, everywhere you go. We move with Super Eagles, brought to you by MTN, the official communication sponsors and partners of the national team, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. What is your name, brother? My name is Charles Paul. Charles Paul, who is also not just a football fan, but a footballer as well. Just put that out there. So, Charles, real quick, are you confident with the team list that has been released that this group of players can actually win the Nations Cup? Uh, I believe because I believe because with Musa Day, what he did last time, ah. Uh, I believe we will do more this time. As you know, the Super Eagles are on the verge of, we we'll say, the biggest footballing fiesta. Do you think we can win the competition in Cameroon next year? Yes, we can. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. So now we've released a team, you know, the team list. We have a team of players, a provisional list. Do you think that this team is okay, or is there another player that you feel that should be added to the team, or you think this team is okay to get the goal for us? I think uh, it's okay. You think it's okay? Yes. You are sure? Yes, I'm very sure. There's nobody that should add to the team. No, I don't think so for now. Okay. Six o'clock in the morning, getting set for another day. Another chance to change my story. I believe in my hustle. 
I know be lazy person. But life is just they knock me bus bulls. If it don't close, I go find another. If I fall down, I go try to cover. Hey, oh, hey, oh. If it ever walk me, I know they bother. Cause I believe say I go surely prosper. You know get that she won't be. Whatever life brings, we move. Turn up your dreams. MTN, everywhere you go. All right, welcome back. It is still We Move with Super Eagles, proudly brought to you by MTN, the official communications partners of Nigeria's national teams and the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And guys, let's get into it very quickly. It's very heartbreaking. No one likes to be dropped, even when your schoolmates are going on a school excursion, if you don't get taken long, you feel really bad. Not to talk about playing at an African uh, tournament. There are two sets of players. The players who are probably not being part of the setup, who are looking to breaking, and then the players who have been part of the setup and for some reason get dropped. Let, let me run through a list of players who we have uh, picked out as being dropped from the Super Eagles provisional list. And they are our striker Paulo Noachu, there's Henry Yekuru, Semi Ajayi, Kevin. Akwagoma, and of course, uh, there's uh, Samuel Akalu. The one that strikes you is Paul Onwachu. I, for one, never thought he'd get dropped. I always thought, and the argument has always been, as poor as he's been for the Super Eagles, relatively, depending on how you look at it, they've always said he's brought something different. Yeah. It feels like the new management do not believe they don't in care. that different angle. They don't care. The dimension that he brings is that he's a big target man. Um, they're not a lot of Aerially powerful players uh, in the team. Osime tries, but he's not really, really good with, with the head. Um, Onoachu is excellent, um, stands out above everyone else in the team. So he has the height advantage, not shabby with his footworks as well, can finish. Unfortunately, since um, he stormed onto the scene with that volley against Egypt in his mm. debut, it's really not kicked on. The thing about him is that his kind are gradually being phased out of the game. Uh, big target man, look at the top four in England. Mm. Only um, Chelsea has Lukaku. The rest of them, City doesn't play with it. He almost reminds you, remember that Croatian striker, Nikola yeah. Zigic, yep. up top. Just yep. perfect or Jan Kola, or Victor Agali at some point for Nigeria. Um, just keep hauling the, the crosses into the box and finding him. Now, teams want to play with a bit more fluidity, mm. a, a, a bit more uh, dynamism to how they attack. And because of that, um, he's a nice to have. He's not a must have. And we're looking at players who must be on that mm -hmm. team to deliver. And I obviously took a look at him and felt like um, this guy is a luxury player. I want players that uh, will, you know, play for sure. Um, mm. And of course, when you look at the perking order, he's got to be behind right. uh, Osimen, behind Dennis on current form, behind Awuni as well, because they're playing. Bigger leagues in Europe. All right, so uh, Paul Onachu, I feel really sorry for him. He's not the guy I write his name out when I'm trying to pick out a Super Eagle squad mm. or pick Super Eagle starts in 11. But how, how do things change so drastically from one manager to the other? Everyone says Arsenal Guavon hasn't got time, hasn't, he's not tweaking with too much. But this is obviously something he's tweaked with because that was the backup plan. That was the so-called plan B when the Super Eagles are looking for goals. Yeah, definitely. That um, Personally, I actually even think, feel like the Super Eagles don't play to the strength of Paul Onoachu. We've already stated the fact that he plays a different kind of football. Um, so probably Eguavon doesn't see what we see when we talk about area football. Um, obviously, that is why Paul Onoachu has been dropped. So what happens when we chase games at the, at the African tournament? We have to go with plan A and plan A. We have the strikers. We have the people that we believe can score goals. We have hopefully, almost all the strikers for plan go, A. Yeah, we have all the strikers for plan A. And hopefully we don't have to go looking at plan B. That is the prayer oh. going to the tournament. All right, let's look at another name on that list. And Henry Yekuru is not particularly a man who everyone... I don't think Niger Nigerians like his name. Mm. I think <laughs> I, I, I fall into that category. I, I cannot tell you just how good Henry Yekuru is because I haven't seen him play that much. But every time his name has come up, everyone believes, oh, he's a decent player. Mm. But he's still struggling to make 
any impact whatsoever playing for the Eagles. I think the biggest indictment um, on this guy is that it hasn't really kicked on from when he burst onto the scene. Nothing added. It's just pace, trickery, final ball, not the best. Saw him play a few matches for Everton. Then uh, I think Gala these days um, was at Monaco as well. Hasn't really, really stamped his authority on any of those footballing teams. And we have an abundance of talent in those wide areas. There's a Juke, there's Moses Simon, there's Chukweze. There are players who are better in terms of what they bring to the table, final delivery, even uh, you know, a couple of goals. I can't remember this guy actually um, playing well for Nigeria in any game in the opportunities that is hard. Looks very hurried, um, doesn't take his time. Mm. Um, the, the quality of his final balls, like I said, not up there. I'm not, I'm not surprised and I'm not disappointed he's been left out. All right, Samuel Kalu is the next one on the list. And Ose, he splits opinion. I think everybody accepts that he's a decent player. Had that running with a few collapses. I think he uh, passed out playing for the Eagles, was in training. Yeah. Then the same thing happened to him playing for Bordeaux. You think maybe that has affected his chances, not his actual performance, but all those medical issues off the pitch, maybe they've just decided to give him a breather. Personally, I've never really thought that Samuel Carlo is such a great player. I think I belong to those other category of people. I picked up on Moses Simon, though. <laughs> I think I belong to those set of people that actually think he's a decent player. Um, and personally, I don't necessarily think that the medical-ish is why he has been dropped. Um, like we've, we've been saying since we started talking about these guys, we need the very best. And he, I mean, if you're talking about the, play, the guys that play in his position, he's not the first name that comes to your head. It's not the second, he's not the third. So uh, dropping Samuel Carlo was a no-brainer. I definitely wasn't even expecting to see him on the professional list, honestly. All right, so the next name on the list, and I'll stay with Osir. But I obviously understands why this is happening now. <laughs> the next man on the list is Semi Ajayi, the man who plays for West Brom <laughs> Champion in, the, um, in England. I know you like him very much and probably hurt you that he didn't get into the team. But it's that's like the sick. second time he's missing out on a major tournament mm -hmm. for Nigeria. And to be honest, I think he's those kind of players who, I don't think it happens anymore in football. You just get them into the team because whenever you call them, they show up. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I think. Olua Shemilu Always feels like a humble, loyal guy. Oh, well, um, I mean, he's, he's a dis um, he plays decent football. He's a great uh, defender. Um, but honestly, I mean, they haven't called him in like, what, eight months? He's not been called to uh, the squad in like eight months. Mm. And personally, there are just a lot of people in his position. What is his position, Bada? I think he's a, a right-sided center half. That's his best position. That's where he's excelled playing for WBA. That's where he played when he was at Arsenal in the youth uh, teams. I rate him, actually. I think that um, he's just not being trusted because the guys ahead of him are not They're excellent. They're not great. They're not excellent. Um, the so-called Onyibo wall um, has cracked up so badly too many times. Reptiles have been strolling through the holes. Wow, um, yeah, and this guy should get a chance, really. What about Kelvin Apogon, another man who's been dropped? Kelvin, another one who hasn't had too much opportunities to show what he, he has. Uh, mm. Some people are of the opinion that he's being punished for his part in the 4-4 uh, against Sierra Leone. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, but I just feel like, oh, based on the fact that he played for Germany at youth level, you expect that at least the fundamentals are there. But in the times that he's played for the national team, I haven't seen anything to suggest. On, on occasion, he's played out wide on the right side. Mm. But... I hear he's a central defender. I haven't central seen him defender. enough. I haven't seen him play centre-back. Yeah, I haven't seen him enough. For how much we've struggled in at centre-back, yeah. it almost feels like we're not open to experimenting. Yeah, because um, for the former manager, it didn't matter that those two um, uh, favourites of his were struggling. Um, he would always pick them over and above anyone else. Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like between Shem Shemilo Guajai and Kevin Apoguma, there could have been two, three games where we trusted them mm. to go out there and show us what they got. Right. And we didn't do that. All right, then uh, we will keep our fingers crossed as far as that Super Eagles list is concerned as we head to the African uh, Fiesta. Up next, let's quickly go to a special focus. And this time we're looking at uh, the uh, venue where the Super Eagles will be having their matches at the African Fiesta. The 30th 
6,000 capacity room there at Deja Stadium in Garoa, north of Cameroon, is where the Super Eagles will play all three group matches. And key thing about that uh, stadium is that it is the home ground, Ose, of Cotton Sport, one of the biggest teams in Cameroonian football. You're telling me this because I really don't know this particular stadium and I'm hoping that when we go to Cameroon, that is when I will Cotton explore... Cotton Sport have signed a lot of Nigerian players over time, though. Yeah, there well, used okay. to be a synergy between the Nigerian League and Cameroon at some point. Cameroonian League... The Cameroon League also used to sign a couple of Nigerian players. Yeah, um, a couple of Cotton Sport players actually have migrated, if I may, I may use that word, to play in Nigeria in the past. Uh, rich pedigree that team has got. But the, team, the stadium in which Nigeria is going to be playing mm. now has absolutely no resemblance with the stadium that Cotton Sport played in because it's been refurbished, mm. it's been revamped, looks very pristine now. The surface is patterned mm. and I'm looking forward to some exquisite football played on that surface. Mm. Even though it's pretty far away, wherever, if you have the opportunity to go to Cameroon, please try to watch those games uh, involving the Super Eagles in Garoa. So guys, we'll take a break. And when we come back, because the part of the show that concerns... Ose, so much. Why do you always drop that. your tempo like when you want to talk about a game or like you're jealous or something? It really doesn't matter. I you're don't think jealous. I really cared so much Butter. about that part of the show. Choose your side now. Choose no, your no, side. No, no, no. I mean, see, I'm a, eh? I'm a nice guy, so I root for the fans. I like that they win, but... Thank you. Um, Just end it. Rest, rest, rest. <laughs> I do not root for the fans. I root for myself. We'll take a break on We Move with Super Eagles. When we come back, it'll be time for Game On. Feel the thrills, the frills, and the grills of African football as we move with the Super Eagles of Nigeria to the Summit of African Football come January 2022 in Cameroon, the land of the indomitable Lions. Catch all the excitement on and off the field of play as MTN, official communication partner of the Super Eagles of Nigeria, counts down to the African World Cup as we move with the Super Eagles. For more details, follow us on at MTNNG, at MTN Nigeria, on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. YouTube. Welcome, MTN, everywhere you go. If I buy this bully, I'll drink him be my portion. We do. People I say they happen for them. After all, all of us now visit door. Oh boy, now me the one place the seven times I woof. Ah, bros don't get five times I woof. And this I go collect this times I woof. This one now woof everywhere you go. Whether you be new or old MTN customer, turn up a with the boss spray everywhere you go. Ah, Bobby, make on a show. And so we move with Super Eagles, the show that brings you closer to the African tournament. And of course, all things noteworthy about the Super Eagles. Now, speaking of the Super Eagles, it's time for us to test your knowledge back home and of course, our audience in the studio. This is the Game On segment. <laughs> all right. Okay, guys. So... So these questions, I promise, are super, super easy. Yes, very easy, I promise. So are you guys ready? Yeah. But let me just ask a random question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you know the Super Eagles? 7, you? 4. Uh, okay, so first question goes, how many players will be making their debut for the Super Eagles in Cameroon next month? Okay, let him have the mic, please. 26. Uh, is it the full squad? <laughs> Anybody else? Let, let, let have the mic. Pass it over to you. How many players? 11. 11, and that is correct. Okay, so our second bag goes to 
whoever can answer this question. How many silver medals do Nigeria have at Africa's biggest tournament since making their debut in 1963? Let him have, <laughs> let him have the mic please, no. Fury, not OBJ. One? Nope, incorrect. Anybody else? None. We have medals, we have silver medals. Don't be a hitter, we have silver medals. Anybody else? You have to get it because six. Six, no. And the answer is four. Okay, so let's have the lovely lady come on here and receive your gift, Katsi MTI. She's so excited. I love her energy. Okay, so this is for you, Katsi MTI. What do you have to say to MTI? Thank you, MTI. Ah, all right. <laughs> you can go back to your seat. Thank you. Okay, and with that, we have come to the end of the game on segment. Remember to follow the conversation online at MTNNG on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube is at MTN Nigeria. And you could also be in the studio and win our goodie bags, Katsi MTN. Tali. Yes, we do not have to plead with you for goodie bags anymore. <laughs> we now have our own plug. Uh, who is your plug? Please let me Worry. know. Let me in. Just the way you didn't give us, we are not going to reveal our plug to you. All right, fair enough. But well, thank you very much, Oseg. And uh, if you're at home, you wondered those questions were really easy, I can answer that. Then try to find your way in here. By the way, in case you're just joining us and you missed a very, very interesting episode, you can go over to YouTube. That's at MTN Nigeria. You can watch uh, previous episodes of We Move with Super Eagles as well as this episode. So if you're watching from YouTube, nice to have you here. So... Um, but just before we go, though, um, it must be very, very heartbreaking. Almost feels like your girlfriend or your wife left you if you don't make a uh, squad to the African tournament. But there's always a way back. There's always a way back, especially for those who are still young. Mm. Uh, and most of them are. Uh, you believe that for some, it should even serve as some kind of motivation to go and become better and be hard to leave out uh, come maybe the World Cup. Mm. All right, so commiserations with the guys who have not made it but i'm sure they will all be supporting the super eagles when they get to cameron from january v night so that's the show for today we move with super eagles remember it is proudly brought to you by mtn the official communications partners of nigeria's national teams and of course the number one football team here in nigeria and of course the rest of the african continent we say that very bullishly the super eagles of nigeria my name is tolu show that they're bada akinto day johnson and also, Theramet, inevitable. inevitable. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>